Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Al's Mike's Podcast. It's another Music Friday where uh, we're going to go over the new releases from uh, Spotify from the genre of Regional Mexicano, Las Nuevas Canciones, the new songs, um, singles, albums, recommendations. And, um, yeah, just overall, just going, uh, recommending new music for you to listen, enjoy. Yeah, I'm going to give you a little updates on stuff going on. Again, don't forget to visit the Facebook page and Instagram of Alice Mike's podcast under the same name. Please help me spread the word on these podcasts. If you're listening and enjoying it, we really would really, really, really appreciate it. So yeah, let's let's get on with it. We're gonna talk about well, not we are. I am gonna talk about new releases and um, yeah, what came up and recommend, and we'll just go from there. So, all right, we'll start off with the uh, uh, Tapi Quintero uh, came out with his um, album Tenemos que hablar. If you guys don't know who Tapi Quintero is, he is the son of Mario Quintero, which is one of the founders of Los Tucanes de Tijuana. Uh, CDs, I recommend the CD. It's, it has um, Muy Buena Variedad. It has different type of songs. There you go. <laughs> Tiene Variedad. The songs that I recommend is El Panamera, La Cuarenta al Cinto, y Mucho He de Amarte. Those are the kind of the songs that stood out for me. Actually, I had heard La Cuarenta al Cinto before. He had released it in single in Conjunto Norteño. This album was all banda. But it doesn't sound too bad. You know, you could get picky. If I scale it from one to, one to ten, I'll give it a seven. Seven and a half. Definitely recommend the, the, the CD. I personally, I'm having... Uh, all right, here comes my little side rant. If you're a soloist, el vocalista, if you're doing a album where you advertise yourself as a main singer, but then a lot of these songs, you put a second voice or you have throughout the whole song, a whole song, una segunda, back doing backups for you. You know, for the whole entirety of the song, not just a portion of it, just to add a little bit more depth to it. But you're actually the whole song has a back of vocals to yourself. Isn't that a dueto? Think about it. Isn't that a dueto? Is it fair for the person that's singing segunda or second on the vocals not to get any credit? Just think about uh, like Voces de Rancho. It's two guys, but, you know, they're, they're, they're doing segunda. They're doing el dueto. But both of them get credit. Right? Because they're they're singing back backups. They're complimenting each other. But there is, you know, there's the guy, the, sing, the singer that's that's uh, singing the low end. And then there's a singer that's singing the high end. So I don't see it as, um, I believe... One of the guys' names is Mario. Mario and Edgar. So I don't see it as, you know, Mario, you know, having the cover as a soloist. And then Edgar is just, he does he not getting the credit. No, they both get the credit because they're a dueto. I'm wondering if you guys uh, think of it the same. I'm, uh, I I it, It's, uh, it, you know, do you, do you even notice it? Until I pointed out, because a lot, a lot of the uh, new new songs that come out, especially the soloist, they advertise themselves as the soloist, but you hear you hear them sing throughout the whole song with the backup vocal. So are they really being the soloist, the un solista? I I you know I don't. I mean, if you think about the times of, you know, I'm, I mean, you start start off back when um, you know. You go think about Laurel Gallo. They didn't have a, a, a 
of backup vocals. Chalino didn't have a backup vocals, and if Chal- if he did in a couple songs, it was just for part of the song to give it a little bit more volume, I'd say. Valentin, you know, he did. He had backups on vocals on just a certain portions to accent the song not the whole song I, I you know I might I might be wrong I think he has like two or three or four songs that has backup vocals throughout the song you know but there's um I mean I don't think Julio Preciado has anything like that well, if he does he's backing up himself El Coyote I don't I don't think so like a lot of, one of the artists that does it quite a bit is Chuli Sarraga and I love the way he sings I really do, but I want to just hear him sing. You know, when 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 I when I when I want to listen to when I, when it says Chuli Sarraga, I want to listen to Chuli Sarraga, not his backup guy. And the guy has a voice; he sings really good, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, we noticed a lot of new artists, a lot of artists. I'm um, not even new; a lot of artists. You know, they they're. They're singing with, with backup vocals throughout the song. It looks like they get comfortable. Now, you know, if it's a like a like a grupo, like a, let me say like like a like a banda, you know, if it's if it's calibre 50, if it's calibre 50, and there's backups through the whole uh, song, that's okay because it's not. It's it's not the the accordion player and voz de mando. No, voz de mando. Calibre 50. It's not. It's calibre. It's a group. So it's there's not a soloist. Same thing with voz de mando. You know, it's a group. It's not Jorge y su voz de mando. Jorge is the, uh, I believe he's the accordion player. You know, he could be titled as a lead singer, but it's a grupo. It's voz de mando. You know, but when it's, um, you know, when it's like, um, you know, like Gerard Ortiz, I expect to listen to the majority of Gerard Ortiz. Same thing as when I expect to hear Pancho Barraza. I expect to hear Pancho Barraza throughout the CD. The whole song. The, the the majority of his vocals. I understand the complimenting with the segunda, with the with the backup vocals, but you know I think it sucks that the other person doesn't get any credit for it. When really, if a whole song has a dueto, put the guy's name on it. Guy or girl, never know. But I, I think one of the artists that does segunda all the time is El, El Commander. Through the whole song, has backups, has a segunda. Give him credit. You're doing, you're, you're doing a dueto. Definitely not doing it by yourself. But, but what do you, what do you guys think about that? I'm just curious. You know. Again, did you guys, have you even noticed it? Now that I've said it, now have I? Um, now are you, are you gonna notice it? So. I guess that's my little side runner. So, well, it, it, it's it, it, you know I've, I've had you know this topic on my mind for quite a bit, but listening to Tapi's new album, some of the songs, I really wish that guy has a guy has a good voice, and you know I I, I believe he doesn't need he, he doesn't need to have a whole song with the backup. With the, with the segunda. It's kind of those like, use it wisely. All right, so we're going <laughs> to go to the next re- recommendation. Um, it's a guy named uh, Junior Salazar. The song, Me Cambio la, la Suerte. Recommend it. It's one of those songs that you listen to. It's, it's, you know, I started from nothing, now I'm this, and this, this, and that. And, you know, it's kind of a <laughs> one of those lifting songs. You know, I know a lot. A lot of people have composed or sing a song like that. It's getting a little saturated, but I think we all could 
you know, we all like the, uh, the concept or, or trying to identify with, uh, you know, we were here now we're up here and sorry, however you want to take it. So just check it out. Uh, Canelo Jr. El Medico. Man, those, those juniors sound just like, uh, they sound like old Canelos with, uh, when they used to have a uh, Pepe Ontiveros, great composer. Great composer, Pepe Ontiveros. Que descansen paz. Yeah, but, yeah. Song El Medico. Definitely recommend it. Uh, La Ventaja. Man, one of those conjuntos that... I think if it wasn't because of the, the COVID... Um, man, they would have been touring all over the place. La Ventaja, a grupo de, de Culiacán, Sinaloa. Um, and they... Um, quite a hybrid conjunto. You know, they could go from Sierreño... Uh, you know, two guitars and a uh, bass to full on uh, conjunto with the uh, bass drum and an accor- accordion and I believe uh, one one of the singers composes a lot of the uh, the songs. So yeah, so they came out with uh, "Vamos Amaneciendo en Vivo." Now, um, the my only complaint is that. The voice distorts a little bit because they're wearing, uh, it looks like they're using the uh, microphones that uh, they put around the ear around the ear, and goes in front of your mouth, the portable wireless microphones. And they, it, so, it, it sounds, well, if you ever listen to recordings with that type of microphone get set up, it's not the best. Um, the di- diaphragm of the microphone, which is what picks up the the voices, it's not as great as um, as a regular microphone or like a condenser dynamic microphone. One of the bigger ones. Uh, I know the portability is what makes it attractive, but the sound quality is just I, I, I don't know how expensive they could they get pretty expensive, but it's just doesn't it's 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 not the same you know if you're doing something i mean if you're gonna be if you're gonna be recording it and releasing it i wouldn't use it i mean if you're not recording in in um for performance or of course for you know performance but um una tocada una privada sure why you know why not if you're, you're going to be moving around. It's portable. You don't have to be worried about the stands, any wires, you know, microphone wires. I get it. But if you're going to be releasing it as a single, like, you know, get the regular microphone and you you would you would uh, definitely avoid that uh, that problem. But either way, I recommend it. It's a, it's a good song. Uh, then the... Um, Oh, I almost forgot uh, Raul Hernandez, El Tigre Solitario, which um, you guys don't know the history. He used to play Bajo Sesto from, he's a, Bajo Sesto for Los Tigres del Norte. He's one of the brothers, um, the Los Hernandez brothers. Uh, He's the one that broke off from the group. And um, he really, he's been releasing a couple singles, but he released uh, Por Alguien, um, Por alguien que no conozco sobre tus penas. It's an older song, but he has it in a um, kind of a wasabi, what well, you know, kind of wasabi type of music. Once you guys, if you guys, if you guys do hear it, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's like I believe it has like a clarinet, trumpet, but then it has like a bass, guitar, loche, guitar. It's a mixture of, you know, it's a, it's a mixture of different stuff. So yeah, ch- check it out. And then, um, oh, then uh, I was talking about Voz de Mando. Voz de Mando came out with uh, a new single, Agosto al Costo. And it's a, it's a good song. It's definitely, once you hear it, it's definitely, you could tell it's, it's a Voz de Mando type of song. You know, they hadn't released, uh, you know, like a single like this, type of corrido like this for a while. I'm glad they, you know, they came out with, you know, they, they, they recorded something like that. 
like what it says. I like the style. They sing it. It just it just sounds good. It's it's what you typically would um you know you you, you expect a voz de mando single. So check it out. It's called Agosto al Costo, voz de mando. And then I was checking these guys out. Uh, they came out. My suggestions called those those chavalones de Cosala. They only have like three or four singles out, but the the way they play is 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 is. is I mean, that def, def, definitely uh, recommended. Check check them out again on Spotify. I, I saw they only had like four singles or so, so not not a lot of content. But hopefully later on they you know they'll they'll release a whole album or. But the concept and the way they're playing sounds sounds good. And then um, I, and I saw this guy named uh, Danny Danny Lux. I guess I was reading about this guy and he, oh, there's a, a single he came out uh, called Nos, Pertese- Nos Pertenecemos. I, I I guess he started off on TikTok or so, and he records our, his own stuff. You know, have I said in a couple episodes before? I'm not a big fan of those, la guitarritas and the new type of style of you know, not las corridos tumbados. I'm not saying this guy is singing corridos tumbados, but at least what I've seen is I've heard, not seen. What I've heard is, you know, kind of ma- he's kind of make his own his own style, not his own style, but his own style. It reminds me a lot of a uh, song in English. I cannot come up with the with the name of the song, but if you guys hear it, you know I would I would um, anybody. Um, it sounds a lot like a song in English, one of the oldie songs, or well, at least it was inspired by it. So if if if, if anybody um, comes up with the or finds out what song I'm I'm, I'm thinking about or. Or hey, please uh, send me a message on uh, either Facebook, on Instagram, um, Alice Mike's podcast. Um, just curious. Um, again, it's it's called Nos, Pertese- Nos Pertenecemos by Danny Lux. Yeah, so check it out, and it's it, it's it's a it's a good like relaxing song. Definitely don't play it on your cell phone. Like put it on some speakers or some good headphones you have, and just kind of like just take it in. Yeah, so definitely re- recommend that song. All right, so that's um, my recommendations of the new music for the week of um, 326. Yeah, let's check it out. You got time, check out this artist. And um, I'm going to recommend some artists and uh, maybe some older CDs right now. Uh, definitely, re- definitely recommend uh, because I haven't heard Los Mayitos de Sinaloa. They have uh, CDs that um, have a lot of content. I mean, you want to listen to corridos, you want to listen to romantic, you want to listen to, and uh, yeah, like I said, you know, a lot of CDs, a lot of albums, singles. So check them out. Uh, if you want to go even more classic, not classic, but even go other recommendations. One of my favorite, all-time favorite uh, CDs. It's uh, La El Gallo uh, with the the title of the album is called Con- Confusión. But it comes with uh, the song Delante de Mi, Sentimiento de lo- Dolor, Aquí en Mi Corazón Tú Mandas, Apenas Te Fuiste Ayer, Los Pajaros, Asilio de Abandonados, Te De Queder, Alta y Delgadita, Mi Chamaquita, El Paciente y El Guajolote. One of the classics of... Banda or just of just Sinaloa. I mean, if you got family that's from Sinaloa or Sonora or just Baja California, you know, you you definitely have listened to some Lalo El Gallo. And this is one of his, probably one of his best CDs. Yeah, so definitely recommend this one. Uh, I believe it's, he recorded it con los Tamazulas de, de Culiacán. Good banda. And then uh, if you want 
of course he has that that CD but then these with the the CD with the Dos Caminetas Blindadas which is uh, just corridos but definitely a good album as well you get those two albums and you're pretty set Banda sounds awesome you know Dos Caminetas Blindadas man uh, definitely a, a classic El Jabalí Clave Privada I know it's quite a popular um, you know Tucanes sings it uh, Recodo you know Raul Gallo Valentin sings it later on but definitely check check it out um, Corrido de Joaquin Murrieta that's a good good Corrido and uh, Juan Guerrero and El Hijo Desobediente from that same CD of Dos Caminetos Blindadas and the banda sounds really really good and then we're going to continue on with uh, more recommendations of older CDs I'm a big fan of Chalino never had a problem with the way he sang his own style a lot of people can't sing with him and can't can't sing as high they try but I uh, definitely recommend um, I think one of his best CDs uh, was the one where Alma Namorada comes up so Alma Namorada Prenda del Alma Los Chismes Por Una Rencia Vieja I love that corrido uh, Armando Aguirre man talking about the first couple stanzas of that song uh, dice I'd say este tengo un contrato firmado desde que vine a este mundo no le pusimos la fecha por eso vivo a gusto el mundo da muchas vueltas y por por nada me asusto like man just the beginning of the song and then the next stanza is pretty cool too and then like the rest of the the, the rest of the song I really don't care for but that beginning is just like it's what a hook talking about a hook like it just hooks you in man that's what Chalino had with this the way he composed had a way with words. Um, then Mario Portillo and then the Anastasio Pacheco. Love the entrance of the of the accordion provided by Nacho Hernández de los Amables. Man, it's just it's typical Chalino, but you know, uh, me and my brother always had this always had this comment that you know without Chalino would be anything without lo, 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 los amables. The, the way they played, the way they complimented him was just, it was a, the perfect fusion of a composer and, 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 and their musicians and his, his musicians. If you listen to the first CDs of when he's playing with the other conjunto, yeah, I mean, it's, it's early Chalino, but it doesn't have the, like the power, the, 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 the unique styling what makes Chalino you know what made Nieves de Nero so such a classic later on we're gonna you know I'm gonna wanna interview my my brother cause he he actually um he lived through the the rise of Chalino you know of, of and what and what impact Chalino had to our culture, our, our, our Mexican American culture. You know that all the all people that were you know over here in the United States, quite an impact. And uh, yeah, I just want to get his aspect on it, and you know, just I think the 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 the, the scenes in the nineties, the early nineties mid 90s of mexican music in here in the united states how it how it came to its own that influenced back into the mexican you know back into the mexican market but um but yeah that's that's another episode to come come on all right so that's i recommend some older cds so you can check it out if you guys haven't listened to it or you guys probably just forgot about having listened to it a while it's a good refresher Good music is always good. It's it's always good to 
listen back to older music you haven't listened to. Sometimes you find out new stuff about it. Maybe this time you listen to, you may, maybe you pay attention to lyrics and see what actually what it says, and not and not uh, just listen to the composition or you know the the entrada, the the melody. I mean, I, I know how many songs that I just like because of the melody, or or there's this uh, arreglo de corta, corta tiempo. There's something about the song that I just like, or I like how the tuba sounds or. The trombone does really something really cool. And then I'd pay no attention to the lyrics. <laughs> or there's other people that, hey, they like the lyrics, but, you know, they don't pay attention to the composition. Guess what? We're, we're, we're all wired differently. Yeah, so that's, um, that's my re- recommendation. So just check it out. Um, I know I had a c- little... Side rants and um, about um, different topics, different stuff, but um, hopefully enjoyed it. Again, don't forget to check out my past episodes. I have uh, uploaded uh, recently a new conversation with uh, Corny. We go over his hunting stories. Quite entertaining. I mean, man. So, uh, Check it out. There'll be more conversations with Corny coming up. Um, I'm going to try to definitely every Friday release these uh, new Music Fridays. You guys can check it out and enjoy. And uh, yeah, just keep keep on the content. And uh, again, you know, don't forget to like and follow um, the Facebook and Instagram page, Al- Alice Mike's Podcast. I have a YouTube page as well, same name, Alice Mike's Podcast. I always link it up to every post I put uh, on Instagram and Facebook. So just uh, want to thank everybody for l- uh, listening. Hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Yeah, well, I would like to hear comments or feedback from er- from everybody that's uh, uh, listening. Any constructive criticism <laughs> uh, would be great. Um, I know there's a lot of ums, and I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to, try, definitely trying to get rid of them. But I guess the more you do it, the better you get at it. Thank you so much for listening. Again, have a great weekend. Don't forget to smile. Give nobody smiles back. Smile at yourself. <laughs> at least you're smiling at yourself, right? Look in the mirror and smile at yourself. And um, take care. And have a good one.